I'd like to thank everyone for coming here. And I know a lot of people come a long distance. So I thank you very much for that. Our family's important to us because they're the ones who care for us, help us when help's needed, in guidance and unconditional love. And then we have our friends. And friends are so important to us. It's sharing the fun times and it's the memories we have with our friends that bring us the lasting memories. And both Matthias and Valerie have so many friends here and nothing could be better than that. I'm hoping to hear some funny stories from their youth when they feel it's safe to say anything, because I'd find that fun. He and Valerie share what I think are some of the best qualities two people can have. They're both so passionate and focused about whatever comes their way in life, but they never forget the importance of family and friends and make sure they have fun along the way with them. They understand the importance of family, of course, as evidenced by everyone in this room, um, and those here in spirit. Just wish them all the success in the world, and I know that's just, it's, it's what's going to happen. They're a wonderful couple, they do well together. They balance each other out, and I just wish them all the best. They're wonderful to all of their friends, and as a result of that, their friends are wonderful to them, so they're never gonna be short of friends. And they come, they both come from very good families, so yeah, that's all I can say is like, they're great people. example of a marriage in my experience is that of my parents and my father died when I was in college so my children never knew my parents as a couple now May 10th 2014 is a significant date today would be my mother's 100th birthday so when we knew May 10th was a Saturday that's why we chose this day my wish for Valerie and Matias is that they will have a marriage that's as wonderful of that as my parents. Valerie is a unique, just a unique spirit. Outside, outside it's cold. One of the most caring individuals you could ever meet. Wild wind, oh man, winners on a roll. Say, you mean, I can understand that. Yeah, we can look at some of the tools. And I was saying this at the rehearsal uh, dinner the other night, but I, I'm going to repeat myself. She has an attention to detail. Um, when you're loved by Val, and she loves so many, you know it. But she's just genuinely just a beautiful person and everyone who meets her with that beauty, that inner beauty and the outer beauty. So you don't see that every day. It's true. The skies are bright and blue. I remember uh, the way she was describing it was just, there was an excitement in her voice that just was like, oh wow. Nothing's going anywhere in that dress. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling snug. And then I just didn't know which of the two bracelets. <laughs> Sue, I love how clueless you look as Valerie's giving direction. Sue's so just like, ah. Uh... Oh, you should wait for her to walk around with the hanger. Yeah. You should wait for her to walk around with the hanger. Yeah. It's like we're just going to carry that. It's actually, see, now, not a bad idea. It shouldn't be the shortest girl to do it. With you. It was a, a story that she told in her vows. Um, I got a call the next day that she was really impressed that 
of how, how much a gentleman he was, that when they met for the first time that he called her to make sure that she was in safe and all of that, that she was really impressed by, by that. It's a beautiful day. And Valerie meant everything to her father. Um, he loved both his children, and I know how stressful his, his business is, and, but if it was a bad day, if he came home and he saw the two kids, it made his day. He was happy. He's so proud of them and seeing how they took over the business and the running it and his wishes and my wishes are for Val and Matias to have a wonderful life and they're a wonderful couple and they've got wonderful values and I only wish the best for them. Valerie's father, my uncle Dan, had bought a very rare bottle of wine which he planned to open on this particular day, this special day the wedding day of his daughter, Valerie. My Uncle Dan is here in spirit, and I know he's looking down from the heavens, and uh, he must be over the moon. And, uh, you know, I, nobody could ever fill his shoes. He was a giant of a man. We all know his the wine ages, it, it, it improves with age, and, and it becomes a fine wine. Uh, I look at Valerie, and uh, oh my gosh, uh, that little curly-haired, skinny little girl running around the yard, I mean, my gosh, but has she evolved as a fine wine into just a precious, smart, intelligent, as well as my boss, I have to take orders from her, um, but just a wonderful, wonderful person. As far as Matthias, I mean, uh, the family could not be happier. I mean, uh, my hat goes off to the Limers. They raised the magnificent, magnificent young man. He is just terrific. I mean, you did a wonderful job and we are so thrilled to have him in the family. He's just a, a wonderful guy. And all I could say is for Matthias and for Valerie, happiness, health, long life, and may all your dreams come true. Actually, the timing for this wedding of Val and Matthias, I think it could not be any better. It's a day before Mother's Day. And the most important thing as parents, you want to have for your children to be healthy, to be happy and successful. And you as parents, you work very hard toward that end to do your part. Certainly, Val and Matthias all did everything at their end to make us feel as parents that we did not completely fail. And that is actually really maybe the best gift they can be give back to us as parents uh, on a Mother's Day and beyond. He is an incredibly thoughtful human being. He really cares about his friends and he really cares about his family. And he cares about them as though he was thinking about it himself. He puts a lot of effort into trying to understand what your goals are in your life, the things that you care about, both professionally and personally. Thinks about walking a mile in your shoes, and then thinks really long and hard about figuring out ways that he can use that big brain of his to help you figure it out. I've been friends with Matias since college, and we lived together. And so far, this is amazing. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a movie right now. This is absolutely amazing. I know and everyone in this room who has spent time with Matias knows that he's an amazing human being. Uh, he's kind of like my older brother. I feel like he, he's always there to help me and he's always there for me. You know, all jokes aside, if I had a daughter, 
Matisse is the kind of man that I'd want taking care of her. So on your wedding day, I urge both of you to enjoy your marriage, to truly enjoy and to get excited about spending each day with each other. I mean, to love somebody is a feeling of completeness. It's to know that without that person, your life would be forever different in a negative way. Not to think that it might be, or to worry, but to know. And I look forward to what the future brings for the both of you because I'm sure it'll be fantastic. In truth, I was excited because this is an honor in every sense of the word. And it is an opportunity to take, to be a part of their life in one of the most important and intimate moments. I can unequivocally say that I am a better person for having known them both. When someone can come into your life and make you want to be a better person, a better version of who you are, that's when you know you, you've struck gold. And you've got to hold on to that person for as long as you can. And there's no doubt Matthias is a better person for having known Valerie. If you want proof, we have some pictures of what Matthias used to dress like before he met Valerie. <laughs> and Matthias said to me a few weeks ago about the wedding, I'm not anxious. This just feels so right. I can't imagine any other scenario. I know you always make fun of me for being cheesy, but uh, I hope today can be an exception. We all know you can move a lot of soup. Now we also know you can move a wedding venue. And I'm really confident that if it came down to it, you could actually move a mountain. Which is one of the many reasons why I love you. But as you might know, behind every successful woman, there's a German husband keeping them sane. I promise I will always have your back and be there with you through thick and thin. I love you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Four and a half years ago, I went to a party, and I had no idea my life was gonna change. We talked, and then I saw you from the other side of the room, and we held our gaze with our eyes for what felt like an eternity and at that moment I knew what you were to me. That night you texted to make sure I got home and you called me the next morning and I made a promise to myself that I would always be open to loving and being open to your love and that is the best promise I ever made to myself and my promise to you is to not be the perfect wife, but be the best possible one I could ever be. Oh, uh, see, there we go. <laughs> um, I promise to pastor you as per your sister's request, very lovingly. Um, and I will honor, treasure, and covet you for the rest of my life. I love you. I love you too. By the powers vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may not kiss the bride. You're beautiful. I guess we're walking. Matias and Valerie have a way of making everything fun, and one of the things that I admire the most about Valerie was, you know, that beautiful white dress of hers, so it got a little dirty. So she's like, ah, it's rain, it's raining, what do you expect, go with it. And she did, um, and that's one of the reasons why I love her. She's, she goes with it, and she just lives life. I 
I think the most important thing in having marriage is not the ceremony, it's not all the stuff, it's choosing the right spouse, and I think they've chosen the right spouse, and um, I hope that their journey um, is spectacular, and I wish them, God bless them, and God bless all of you. I don't think this is a, like, okay, we got married and now something's happening. I think this is just a continuation in the story. And this was just a way for them to show each other how much they loved each other. And their future is gonna always be good because they're both happy and good people. All the things and with the apartment you have now, everything really comes perfectly together tonight. Uh, and we are all privileged really to be part of it. So good luck and all the best to you, Val and Matthias. Thank you all for coming tonight. And um, yeah, you came from close by here in New York and New Jersey and from far away in Las Vegas, I know, in England and in Germany. Thank you for coming, making the way. And again, dear Susan, thank you for bringing all together here tonight. Thank you and certainly. She's willing to go on adventures with him. She's willing to let him explore all the little caverns of the world that he wants to, and she's gonna go with him on that trip and make sure that it's memorable. And so I see lots of adventures. I see lots of them caring for other people and making other people feel really special in their life because they, they take the time to make you feel good about yourselves when you come to hang out with them. Valerie has always been a person who believes in love, pure and simple. She knew right from the start that there was something different about Matthias and the relationship the two of them had, and she told me that. But I don't think I truly realized it until Val and I were traveling in Europe together, and I heard her voice as she was talking to Matthias to tell him that she got in okay, and she had this goofy smile on her face that lasted just so much longer after she hung up the phone, and I have, her and I have talked about a lot of crushes throughout the years, and this one was different. Valerie, thank you for being the parry to my repost and for being my best friend and sister throughout the years. And Matthias, thank you for sharing your best friend with me and for being such a wonderful person who's always there for Valerie. Prost. Congrats. And he was young and dumb. And he's like, well, this is feeling too much like marriage already. It clicks. It works almost too well, and I'm too young to be in this situation. So he walked away, and we talked about it. We talked about the desire for somebody who understands that you have your own life goals. Matthias was supposed to go to South Africa. It didn't work out, but the fact that she was willing to get on board with him going to South Africa and make something happen to make his career, to make his life work, mean something and happen, she's, I mean, not many women are willing to do that. Leave behind the family business and figure out creative ways to make the family business important in the place that they're going to, to be with the person that they love. I think after he realized that, after he realized that she'd made a decision to be with him as a partner, and he realized that for life to really work out, you need that partner, you need somebody who's gonna sign up and commit, that's when he came back on fours. They went out there and, you know, he figured out a way to ask her and she gave him a little bit of grief, but then she said yes. And uh, it's been no looking back since then. They've been married for a while. They just wanted an opportunity for us to all come together and celebrate that with them. Valerie, Matthias, I love you guys so much. I can't wait uh, as our lives unfold. I think there's going to be many momentous occasions to come. This is just the first of many for you guys. Um, and I'm so happy and honored to be a part of this day and honestly happy and honored to be a part of the future.
we go. I think Valerie would kill me if I didn't mention the fact that she doesn't have to worry. What goes on in Floriana stays in Floriana. <laughs> and for those of you that weren't there, let's just say it was a desert island, or not a desert, a remote island that had no electricity and a lot of bug repellent. I mean, what other friend quietly lets you write your thesis when you come up to Cornell on Slope Day, the biggest party day of the year, and then when you hit send, hands you an Ithaca's gorgeous t-shirt and gives you a fishbowl full of wine to celebrate. And Matthias is the same, I have to say. His naturalization party involves uh, mechanical bull riding. I'll be the shortest in the morning. Yes. That's why David gets very excited. this is why she's so excited about this one. Yeah. <laughs> No more up and down. You can start twirling all you want, all right? When I introduced Matthias to Val, I told him if she comes off as a little reserved. Um, but you need to understand, this is a girl who goes to Armstein concerts. Your little aunt actually said yes to me. Yeah. Then we can have <laughs> me I trust me I want to be out here dancing and drinking more than anybody and I feel like they made me go last to make me not drink as much I'll get you later I'm really happy and honored that you guys allowed me to speak here today and I wanted to thank Val for trusting me to give a speech that isn't a roast of Matthias I had a hard time with that apparently Matthias had to convince Val to let me give this speech without any restrictions or any proofreading I've known Matthias for a long time, and I have the utmost respect for you being able to date him because I, I couldn't. If I were you and God, I looked at pictures of Matthias 10 years ago, I kind of feel like I got a raw deal. I mean, seeing the head of hair that he used to have, he used to look like a young Tom Brady, and now he's still attractive, but... My favorite game is getting Matias to say the word California multiple times before he realizes what I'm doing, and it never gets old. I mean, Matias used to talk about his perfect girl. She would be tall, she would be exotic. They'd have future NBA players together. And we've all been young and uh, painted a picture of our soulmate. We have a German who's an atheist. <laughs> Getting married to a Christian girl from New Jersey by their Jewish friend. <laughs> And for those of you that remember, it was supposed to be in a synagogue that is now condemned. <laughs> I blended them together. Fitting. <laughs>